We're here in the beautiful Bethlehem Church. There's a bit of everything. I mean, there's there's jazz, there's classical, but there's there's a bit of Balkan, there's there's Indian. I've never heard of seen anything like that before. The piece we record now is the Piano Concerto One and Two that I composed myself. So I'm uh, both pianist and composer in this this session, and. Uh, it's being played by the Alma Quartet, a wonderful string quartet, and Dominic Seldis on double bass. And together they're musicians from the Royal Concertgebouw Orchestra. And uh, besides the piano, of course, taking a central role in this piece, I also brought my drummer to this piece so that we uh, yeah, can improvise also together here and there on the piece. This piece was always composed for this ensemble, and I think the beauty of it is that you 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 retain the the beauty of the of the chamber music quality. So for me personally, I don't think it works well with a bigger bigger group um, because I, I, I yeah this in this case you can really communicate with everybody and because you know like the minor uh, details. Rembrandt is extremely trusting with his musicians. He'll say something which is inspiring rather than an order. And that is on the one hand for a classical musician who are not really used to improvising that much, very scary. And on the other hand, extremely freeing. Whilst starting on this piece, I thought it was very important that myself, I have a totally free role. So there's only a couple of places where me at the piano, I'm, I'm, I'm playing something exactly the same at the same time with the musicians. And I think it's just so much nicer for, for the public when they hear this recording or when they see us live, that you truly experience uh, me creating uh, comments on what they play or, or uh, uh, creating contrasts with what they play or, or teaming up on that very moment. A musician, a composer like Rembrandt and, and the Concertgebo guys, they they really bring their own kind of flavor to the mix. And I think if you record that very neutrally, then then you, you tend to pick those those colors, those those flavors up. I try to capture a couple of moods, uh, uh, one of them being kind of darkish, mysterious, where on the very low end of the instrument, with dampening the strings, you kind of get this film music kind of like, almost scary movie, I don't know, something's going on. It certainly is uh, cinematic, but it is a very, uh... It is a movie that has many different sets, many different backgrounds, many different uh, like uh, 
the movie was, sh was shot on many different continents. It's a travel between very different styles and cultures and, and countries and, and there's there's a bit of everything. I mean, there's there's jazz, there's classical, but there's there's a bit of Balkan, there's there's Indian, there's... Uh, I think I think what Rembrandt did was really, really well uh, in terms of incorporating all these different styles and, and still make it somewhat a, you know, cohesive uh, piece. Perfection is more in keeping this this thing fresh. You know that, that if if I team up with musicians, I think perfection of this concert for me lies in the fact that um, I can take into into consideration what I feel like that very day or that very concert. <laughs> 